السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی ویڈیو سیریز آن سرچنگ الگورتھمس ان آرٹیفیشل انٹیلیجنس سو فار وی ہیو کمپلیٹیڈ دا ان انفارم سرچ اینڈ انفارم سرچ الگورتھم وی ڈسکس اے اسٹیرک ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وچ از ون آف دا موسٹ پاورفل اینڈ وائڈلی یوز پیتھ فائنڈنگ الگورتھم ان آرٹیفیشل انٹیلیجنس اینڈ پرابلم سالونگ In this video, we will implement A-star search using two fun examples, the water jack problem and the Pac-Man maze problem. So let's get started. Let's start with the water jack problem. Imagine you have two jugs, a 3 liter jug and a 4 liter jug. You don't have any measurement markings and your goal is to measure exactly 2 liters using only these two jugs. Following actions are allowed. Fill a jug completely. Empty a jug completely. Pour water from one jug to another until either the receiving jug is full or the pouring jug is empty. The goal is to measure exactly 2 liters of water. Let's transform it into a search problem. Let's define the initial and the goal states. The initial state is 4-3 which means both the jugs are full. The goal state is 2-0 which means first jug has 2 liters of water and the second jug is empty. We will use a heuristic function to estimate the best path. Our heuristic is h of n equals to sum of absolute distance from the goal state. As we explore different possible states, A star ensures that we follow the most efficient path to reach the goal in the fewest steps. Let's start with the initial state. In this state, both jugs are full. Now we have two options, either empty the jug A or empty the jug B. After performing these operations, we will get two states, 4, 0 and 0, 3. Now we will calculate the heuristic value for each node. The sum of absolute difference between 4, 0 and 2, 0 state is 2. And the sum of absolute difference between 0, 3 and 2, 0 is 5. as the function for a static combines the actual cost and the heuristic cost so the cost would be 2 plus 1 2 is the heuristic value and 1 is the step cost similarly the cost for 0 3 node would be 5 plus 1 5 is the heuristic value and 1 is the step cost now a static will choose a node that has least cost which is 4 comma 0 in this case so it will choose this node and expand its neighbors here two operations are possible either pour some water from jug a to jug b or empty the jug a we will get these states as a result state 13 has the heuristic value of 4 and the step cost will now become 2 state 00 has the heuristic value of 2 plus 2 step cost state 0,0 has least cost so a static will choose this node But from now, there are no possible actions that can lead us to a new state. We can either fill jug A or jug B again. If we fill jug A, we will reach to the previous state 4-0. And if we fill jug B, we will reach to the state 0-3, which is already explored with least cost. So now we will look for another least cost node, which is 0-3 in this case with a cost of 6. That was expanded before node 1,3. From here... We can pour water from jug B to jug A and we will reach to a new state 3,0. The heuristic value of this state is 1 plus step cost equals to 2. This node has the least cost among all so the algorithm will choose this node. From here we can fill the jug B again to reach the state 3,3. The heuristic value of this state is 4 and the step cost becomes 3. So now the algorithm will look for the least cost node in the frontier. which is 1,3 with a cost of 4 plus 2 equals to 6. So it will choose this node. From here, we can perform one operation that is to empty the second jar. The new state becomes 1,0 and the heuristic cost is 1. Step cost becomes 3. The same node is currently the least cost one. So the algorithm will expand it further. We can perform pour operation and pour water from jug A to jug B. The new state will become 0,1. The heuristic cost is 3 and the step cost becomes 4. So total cost is 7. We have already a node in our frontier with a cost 7. Pour 
Pore operation is performed and the water is transferred from jug B to jug A and the new state is 4, 2. The heuristic cost is 4 and the step cost is 4 which becomes 8. So the least cost node currently is 0, 1 with a cost of 7. So the algorithm will choose this node. The available option is to fill the first jar again. The new state will become 4, 1 with the heuristic value of 3 and the step cost of 5. So the total cost, so the total cost becomes 8. We already have explored a node with the same cost that is 4, 2. So we will explore that node first. Empty operation is performed and the jug A is now empty. The new state becomes 0, 2. The heuristic value is 4 and the step cost is 5. The total becomes 9 which is greater than 4, 1. So the algorithm will now choose the node 4, 1 with the cost of 8. Pore operation is performed and the new state has the cost 6 plus 3 equals to 9. We already have a state 0, 2 with the cost 9 so we'll explore it first. After performing the pore operation, we will reach the goal state that is 2, 0. As this is a goal state, the heuristic value is 0 and the step cost is 6. So the path to reach the goal from the starting state is empty, pour, fill, pour, empty, pour. And the path cost is 6. Now let's move on to our second problem applying a stat search to a simplified Pac-Man game. I will solve this problem partially and leave the rest for you to complete. Given below is the configuration of simplified Pac-Man game without ghosts. The objective of the game is to eat all of the dots placed in the maze. The Pac-Man can move in four directions, up, down, left, right. Whenever Pac-Man enters a cell with a dot, it immediately consumes it. The gray cells in the maze are blocked. Our task is to execute a star search algorithm on the provided maze and build a search tree with the heuristic function provided below. In the maze, number represents food cells and the letters represent empty cells. We have to create the nodes from left to right in alphabetic order. Once the Pac-Man consumes all the food, it reaches to a goal state. The heuristic function is the minimum Manhattan distance from current position to each dot plus the number of remaining dots. Let's further understand it with an example. Manhattan distance will be the number of horizontal and vertical moves without considering the block cells. In the current state, the distance between the Pac-Man and the first food cell is 2. The distance between the Pac-Man and the second food cell is 3. Similarly, for the third food cell, it is 1, 2, 3 and 4. For the fourth food cell, it is 5. And for the fifth food cell, it is 4. So we will select the minimum of them, which is 2. And then we will add the number of remaining dots that are 5. So 2 plus 5 equals to 7. So the heuristic value of the initial state would be 7. So let's start the algorithm with the initial state. The heuristic value of the current state is 7. From the start state, it can either move to state A or state D. If it moves to state A, then the heuristic value would be 3 plus 5 equals to 8. 3 is the minimum Manhattan distance between the current state and all the food dots. And 5 is the number of remaining food dots. If it chooses cell D, the heuristic function will become 1 plus 5 equals to 6. So now the algorithm will choose the node with the least cost that is 7 in this case. So it will move to D. From D, it has only one option to move to cell with the food item 1. The heuristic value is 5 and the step cost becomes 2, so the total cost is 7. It is, it is still the least cost node, so the same node will be expanded further. From here, it can either move to cell E or cell with the food item 2. The heuristic value of cell 2 is 6. Heuristic value of state E is 5. So the least cost node currently is 5 plus 3, 8, which is E node. From E, it can either move to cell F or move to the food item 3. From here, I will leave the rest for you to solve. You have to solve it completely and find a path that A static algorithm finds from starting node to the goal state. Please also determine 
whether the heuristic function is admissible or not. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos on data science and AI. See you next time.